the biggest entrepreneur platform on the planet. This is Business Rockstars. Welcome back to Business Rockstars. I'm Brittany Whitney. Today I'm speaking to Kareen Schneider, president and co-founder of Estrella. Well, Kareen, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, for our audience that is not familiar with you and your background, um, tell us what were you doing before Estrella? Yeah, well, I used to uh, be the president of NASDAQ Private Market, which was an initiative that NASDAQ still has today to help companies find liquidity, private companies find liquidity uh, and support them as they are on their journey either to an IPO or to a another type of exit. Amazing. And as you mentioned, you were kind of an intrapreneur inside of NASDAQ, mm -hmm. um, which is an entrepreneur inside of an organization. What was it like being an intrapreneur and what did you learn from it? Yeah, and I'm doing it a second time here at AST. So it's really interesting. It is a different way of building a business and building a company. Um, so, you know, working inside of a large company that's looking to be innovative and to create a unit that is going to really build something brand new and introduce that, um, there's some real pluses to that. So one of them is that you have great infrastructure. So I can depend on my colleagues on the AST side or on the NASDAQ side for things like HR and finance and legal. Um, and I don't have to worry as an entrepreneur about fundraising and all those things. So I can really, really focus on developing my solution which is fantastic. I think sometimes, you know, it makes it a little harder because you're dealing with some infrastructure that is not always used to the pace that entrepreneurs work or um, kind of the successes and the failures you feel as you're building a, um, a product. So that I think might be a little tougher for management and, and the board to understand that we're not a 20 year old business. We're a, you know, a 20 day or a 20 month old business. And so things are a little bit different. That makes total sense. Um, for those who are not familiar, what is Estrella? Yeah. So we, um, we've we developed a, um, a new generation of cap table tracking or ownership tracking. So if you're starting your company, somebody owns the company. Sometimes it's just you by yourself in a bedroom and you own 100% of your company. Um, but over time, you need to find investors, you need to hire employees, um, you're going to have consultants who work with you. So over time, that 100% that you started with is going to be divided out amongst other people. And different people people buy the stock or get granted the opportunity to buy stock in the future at different prices and they have different conditions under those um, those arrangements. And so that's what Estrella does. It tracks all of that information. And um, it also allows the employee or the investor to see what they own on their mobile app. So one of the things that I always hear from folks who invest or who are employees is I don't really know what I own. I mean, I know I own something, but I don't really know what that means and I'm hoping I will be the next billionaire, but I wouldn't know. And so a nice thing about our solution is that not only do you as the entrepreneur get to track what's happening with the ownership, but also the people who you've, you're really depending upon also have clear information about what's happening with their ownership. And for those who are just starting out and they're listening to this interview and they go, wait, what's a cap table? Uh, can you explain what a cap table is? How does it work? Yeah. So, um, you know, imagine you have a pie and you have to split up the pie into lots of different pieces. Well, this is a ledger that keeps track of who owns what. Um, so it would say Brittany owns 10%, Kareen owns 15%. Um, Brittany might own 10% of the stock, but she may own that in common stock, which is different than preferred stock. So you can get complicated very quickly. And the moment you start talking to your first angel investor or your first friends and family investor or professional investor, it gets tricky and you have to keep track of all of this. So that's what we do um, in a cap table, it, you know, ultimately you pull it out and the bottom, you know, it, it adds up to hundred percent who owns my company. And what kind of was the inspiration behind starting Estrella? Well, you know, I feel like, um, you know, a few things. One is that 
companies uh, and entrepreneurs tend to think, oh, I can do this on a spreadsheet. And there's so many problems with doing this on a spreadsheet. So I always tell people my biggest competitor is Bill Gates because the spreadsheet's cheap and easy, but it's also super easy to make mistakes. And anyone who went and saw the social network, I mean, the crux of the problem of the social network was that they didn't agree on the cap table. They didn't agree on who owned what in the company. So what we do at Estrella is we actually allow companies that have 10 or less employees and, and investors to use our product for free. And that was really important for me because I want people from day one to do this right. Um, I also um, wanted to utilize some of the new technology that's available. So we've built in blockchain. So the cap table is actually built on a private blockchain, not public, not cryptocurrency, but just blockchain technology which is really important um, when you're tracking share ownership. And we've also integrated artificial intelligence. So there are a lot of things that you need to do that are very administrative and we wanted to make sure that that was built into the product. So if you're under 10 investors, you can use this fabulous new system for free. And when you add your 11th employee or your 11th investor, at that point, it's a simple monthly payment. And so we really didn't wanna make this the thing that would break the bank. We want you to start right from day one. That's amazing. And I know so many entrepreneurs, I'm, I'm sure after hearing this interview, are going to sign up. Um, and it's so important that your service is secure because a lot of people kind of have this misconception about blockchain, um, that it's not secure and that it can get hacked. Um, so I think it's really important for entrepreneurs to know their information is safe. You guys are making it easy. You're making it affordable um, and you're helping small businesses grow. Um, yeah. And Explain why it's so important to position your company early with Estrella and just make sure everything is under control. Yeah. Well, again, with the example with the social network um, movie showed how important it is from an early stage to make sure you have agreement. So mm -hmm. if you and your partner or you and your co-founder have decided that, you know, this is how we're going to do things. And then five years from now, when your company's doing tremendously well and someone shows up with a billion dollar check to buy your company and you start to pull out all this paperwork and you disagree, then it will be very expensive and lots of lawyers and accountants will get involved. So it is important to document those decisions early on. Um, you know, lawyers are very good at documenting that information. I think if you're using a reputable law firm, they will encourage you as well to use a cap table system because emails and, you know, scraps of paper and the back of napkins are not a good idea when you're talking about potentially life-changing wealth. I mean, why are you doing this, right? You're starting a company because you want to change the world and you hope it will benefit yourself personally. Why would you risk that? to anything other than a really secure system that again, you agree to from the first day. So we both look at it, we both say this is right, then there will be a movie made about you. <laughs> exactly, it's such an amazing resource for entrepreneurs. And when should you start with Estrella? If someone has a business and they're wondering when's the perfect time to sign up? I really think it's now, today. Um, don't wait. I've talked to a few people who say, well, when I when I raise my first round or when this happens, uh, really, it's five minutes to set up. It's maybe another 10 minutes to enter your data, and then it's there. And then every time there's a change, it's really quick and easy to do it. I would really encourage you, even if you haven't raised a dollar or a euro um, or a yen yet, do it today. Yeah, and you, you guys are global, right? So anywhere in the world, you can sign up. Yeah, we, uh, we do um, manage the ownership in any currency and your company can be incorporated in any country um, and your, com your company can be in any sector. So, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, even if you're a very small company, it's ready for you. As you know, entrepreneurs face challenges every day. Um, the early days, the challenges are different than later on. What was kind of your biggest challenge as you were starting Estrella? Well, yeah, this is like my fifth or sixth startup, I think. So I've, I've done this a few times. Uh, I've learned along the way. And so there is something to be said for meeting entrepreneurs who have had failure and who have had success and learned from that. Um, you know, my biggest lesson I always tell people is I, I've got a great team. Um, not only are they really smart and they know our vision and they know where we're going, but we work really well together. So I think a team is really, really important. Um, and then I think flexibility. So something that's been hard for me is 
as time has gone by, you, you get to this point where you think, well, I know it all. I've done it all. I've experienced it all. And then someone challenges your thinking. And um, so I'm a big believer in having lots of diverse people around me, whether diverse age, diverse background, uh, diverse experience um, to challenge me. And the hardest part for me sometimes is to kind of not be so stubborn and to say, huh, that's actually a really interesting point. We should think about that or we should do that and maybe let go of some of my old thoughts, you know, like, well, we've always done it this way. So therefore we're going to do it again. That's a hard thing, I think, for anyone. But for an entrepreneur who's so laser focused on, you know, we got to get this done. Sometimes you have to stop and go, maybe that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> totally. Um, and where do you kind of gain your inspiration from? Because as you said, sometimes you're so laser focused. How do you kind of get outside of yourself and kind of come up with these amazing ideas that help you grow and help your business grow? Yeah. Uh, you know, taking some time off is really important. I encourage everyone on our team to take time off. Some listen and some don't. But I just find, you know, inspiration, uh, sometimes just walking along the beach, you know, all of a sudden it hits me. I, I find I'm one of those people that I'm always doing, I've got two laptops and three phones and I've got a lot of stimulus coming at me that when I turn off all the stimulus, um, all of a sudden things will happen. I always tell people my best place to think is the shower. It really is. I, I actually created one of my companies in the shower, thinking about it and going, ah, you know, let's do this. So um, I've heard that from other people too. I'm sure water helps, but just <laughs> turn it off, you know, just get away. And let's say there's an entrepreneur listening and they thought of their amazing next idea in the shower. What would be that next step you would tell them um, to start their business if they have no experience whatsoever? Yeah, well, there's a lot of resources out there. So first of all, um, just to make a plug for Co-Founders Lab, I think it's great. Uh, I do think co-founders help. Doing this yourself is hard. So find somebody, if you're really good at sales, find a really good technical person. Or if you're a, a really good marketing person, then find a good uh, business person. So find someone who isn't you. You don't need two of you. You just need someone who will, um, or, or two or three people. So that's the first thing. Um, second of all, I think you need to test it. Test it out with some people, whether that's your family or your friends, um, and really listen. Because if three or four people say, oh, there's a company that does that, you might want to think twice. Right. Uh, so I would do that. And then third, get, get some good legal advice. Um, I find more and more that entrepreneurs do not invest in themselves. They invest in everything else. Invest in yourself, protect your idea, get your cap table put together, um, and then start going out into the world and raising money. So don't raise the money and then go get a lawyer, get a lawyer and then go out and start raising funds. And a lot of people have a misconception, right? That being your own boss, you have all this free time and you can make your own schedule and do what you want. Um, do you have any tips on work-life balance? Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I, I don't know. I've been able to do it. I, uh, I have kids. I have a, a pretty busy life outside of work. Um, I know some entrepreneurs work 24 seven. I just don't think it's healthy. And I think in the end, you're going to burn out. So yeah. I'm really um, good at sometimes thinking, you know, I, I, I can feel my creative juices kind of draining. It's time to go get away for a long weekend or do something. So I think that's a self-discipline that you need to have that a lot of people just avoid. Like I said, that investment in yourself is of what many entrepreneurs do last. Mm -hmm. And it really is what you should do first. Um, just like every other part of your life, you have to make sure it's healthy. And if you start to just get so tired, you know, everyone will see it. You know, you're the leader, you're the one running the company. So if you have 10 or hundred employees, they will all tell, they can tell that you know, you're not on your A game. So that would be you know, how, how I've done it. I've made it a priority. Uh, and I, I also set an example. So one of the things when I'm away, I'm away. Now, an employee sometimes will say, can I have a quick call? And I'll say, you know, today's my day off. Um, is it urgent? Like, is the, is the world coming to an end? If not, right. let, let's talk about it tomorrow. And I do that more, not because I don't want to take a five minute phone call. It's that I want them to understand I won't do that to them. Right. And if someone's listening to this interview and they're thinking, wow, she is so accomplished. There's no way I could do all of this, what, what she does. What advice do you have for people who kind of are stuck with that fear of failure and they can't get outside of themselves? Yeah. Well, I mean, failure is just everywhere, right? We, we, we have it every day. You know, if I'm late for a meeting or if I, you know, forget to buy eggs at the, the grocery store. So we fail every day. So let, let that go. Um, you know, it just takes one step. You know, what is it? Uh, 
I always love what Matthew McConaughey says, you know, after every red light, there's a green light, you know, there's, there's just take that first step, try it, get out there. Um, and it'll come to you. I, I'm always surprised. I'm one of those people who just is blessed that um, I just meet the right people. You know, once I put it out there, if I say to you, Hey, Brittany, I'm looking for someone who does this. You're going to say to Bob, you know, Hey, Crane's looking for someone who does that. And the next thing, you know, I've met the person who might change everything for me, change for my company. So put yourself out there. Um, and, and yeah, I guess you can't be afraid, you know, it's just, yeah, you're going to fail. I, I fail. I mean, you know, every day I fail, but every day I win too. And I want you to quickly just walk us through, if someone goes to Estrella, they're on their website, kind of walk us through that process if they're a new yeah. customer. Yeah, so there's a little sign up button. So just click the sign up button. It takes five minutes or so to sign up. And um, we do ask you to put your credit card in, even though it's free for under 10. And the reason is just because, first of all, we want to make sure you're a real person and a credible person. And when you get to 11, we just start charging you on a monthly basis. You, there's some questions you need to answer about your company. And a lot of people get worried that, you know, they have to be 100% perfect. Just enter to the best that you know. We can change anything. This is, you know, software. So go in and set up, you know, where was your company incorporated, how many shares were authorized, and then your name and your credit card and you're ready to go. And then we have all kinds of things to help you um, get through it or our uh, support staff will set up a 15 or 30 minute call and they'll literally walk you through what you need to do to set up your cap table and then you're good to go. That's amazing. Well, I know this is going to be such an amazing resource for so many entrepreneurs and founders out there. Um, last question, if you could go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice, what would you tell yourself? Stop worrying. <laughs> yeah. well, I remember when I graduated from college and I thought, well, I'm never going to get a job and I'm never going to get married and I'm never going to have, you know, own a house. And I remember just worrying about all this stuff and spending so much energy on it. And, you know, now I look back and I just think things will happen. Um, I'm exactly where I need to be. My kids hear that all the time. You are exactly where you need to be at this point in time. So yeah, I would just kind of relax. Um, we spend so much energy worrying about things we can't control. So, you know, I can't control it. Um, so I let it go. It's so true. That's great advice. Um, where can people learn more about Estrella? What's your website? Yeah, it's easy. It's Estrella.com. That's A-S-T-R-E-L-L-A.com. And uh, it's, it's should be easy to find. We're also on social media. So you can find us on YouTube. You can find us on you know, LinkedIn or Twitter or wherever you're looking. So, uh, and you know, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs. I, I, I do a lot of counseling and guidance. So if you uh, want to become a client and you want to spend a little time together talking about your company, I'm happy to do that. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Kareen. It was such a pleasure speaking with you. And I am so excited for all these founders and startups to be able to use your service. Thanks. And thanks for your support. You guys do a really important job too, helping these entrepreneurs. So we appreciate it. Thank you so much.